Let me just look one more time. Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome to Blank Frame. This is a game about being trapped in your own apartment and then strange occurrences start happening. This game kind of reminds me of Mother. If you remember I had, it was an indie horror game, a PSX looking one, about a mother taking care of her two children while trying to avoid this uh, dangerous monster that keep trying to take him away. Uh, it kind of reminds me in the same vein because when you die everything is all over again, the experience is more than an hour, so a lot to do if you die. And uh, it, you can save, so it's gonna be interesting. Let's uh, give it a go. Uh, We'll play through the game and see what it is inspired by. Uh, it feels like almost Japanese horror, but I don't know. I don't know really. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Uh, it's been a while since I played any game like Mother. Mother was really uh, an amazing game, really really unique, very spooky. Oh, okay, just loaded in one go. I thought I, I had enough time to sip. Damn the aesthetics. Damn. What in the world was that sound? Scared the hell out of me. I think it came from the hallway. I should investigate. I should look online, what was that sound? Damn. Generally, when I look out of windows in video games, I just see like a ton of buildings. Over here, it seems like there is a little bit more... Uh, more to it when you look out of the window. It's really, really cool. Alright. That's a giant cabinet. This feels like a game I'd find in a hunted PS1 horror game demo disc. The Block. What in the hell? Nope, it won't budge. Why is this so damn heavy? Can't open the doors either. Okay, well, I gotta figure something out. All right, Henry, you're a man of uh, of actions. Let's uh, figure it out. And right, so is a big cabinet blocking your way out? No worries. Storage could contain something helpful. It's locked. Oh, now I remember. I lost the key a couple days ago. Forgot to ask for a new one from the landlady. Great. Pile of adverti ad advertisement leaflets. None of them interesting as usual. Hmm. If someone comes by and drops a leaflet, could I ask the person for help? Doesn't sound so appealing though. Sitting in front of the door for hours. Well, do you have any other idea, Henry? Sounds like a good one to me. Maybe we'll go back to my room and brainstorm uh, the game. I don't know if it's lagging. I don't know if I'm losing frames. I'll keep an eye out. If it does, I'll switch recording modes. Oh wait, that's my bedroom. Let's go to the kitchen. Generally, the best ideas that I get are usually in the kitchen or shower. Very rarely, I'm just sitting in my room and I'm like, Eureka! Damn River News. 
I actually hate hate uh, reading the news as they usually just piss me off. But I read some every now and then. You know, oh. What is this perspective? Is uh I can't really do anything. Some headlines. The young are starting to drift away from society. The officials considered blocking Torso Cave. The perpetrators of last autumn series of rapes are yet to be found. DVDs. Some DVDs I've bought. I used to watch a lot of comedy and action. But in recent years, my taste has shifted to darker films like horror and thriller. Okay, maybe that's why it's not freaking out. Generally, when something like this happens, uh, may, you know, people freak out. I also like that... Uh, he actually explains why he have locked doors in his house. Generally, in other horror games, it's just like, Oh yeah, th this is my house, but this door is locked and I cannot open it. I like that this one is just like, yeah, I'm clumsy. I, I just lost the keys. Uh, I apologize. Anyway, I got the apartment keys. Now, I gotta be careful to not die. Two dollars. Get your own f sweet family for two dollars. Picture frame with the default picture is still in. I have no use for this right now. Look at that, everybody's just like having fun, so it's all normal. And <laughs> this one's just out there drinking. I guess she's waiting for someone. That guy just sitting there looking like, uh,. Harry from uh, Silent Hill. Overall, seems like a nice city. Local nightclub. Never been? Sure is good at making a lot of noise. Guess this is what I get for choosing to move into a town center apartment. Yep. Exactly what you get, you whippersnapper. Alright, time to figure out what else is going on. Well, at least I like that this kitchen is somewhat uh, clean. There's a, a little bit of trash on the, on the floor, but it's acceptable. It's not like an overwhelming amount of trash on the floor. You know, there is an overwhelming amount of trash. And then there is not. <laughs> so, hey, I'm glad. I mean, I've seen other horror characters' kitchens. It's, it's, it's nothing. Like, uh, in uh, like last game that I've played, there was like a toast here. Cold pizza there. Cold pizza in the fridge. Toast on the floor. It's like, you're not even gonna eat all that food, man. Why you have so much toast? <laughs> um, Alright. What's that noise? Seems to be coming from outside. There is a note there. Let's uh, pick it up. What's this? Wind is blowing some paper against the window. It says, Nursing walls have grown tired. Dormant lungs need their cleansing before the night v vacates them completely. Winds of vet vastness are waiting with open arms. Opening an eye and an ear to the world is the first step. I don't know what this is. Sounds like um, they want me to believe in something? Like it's the first step in believing? I guess they're testing to see how open-minded I am. Let's read the news. Uh, let's turn on the TV so we can watch the news. Maybe there was something about cabinets flying in the forecast. Television my dad bought me back when I moved out. Could kill some time watching something. Wait, where's the remote? Ah, probably just some rom-coms on anyway. Can't relate to those. Still, probably should find that remote. Let me guess, it's right next to the storage key. Right? Pretty sure. Alright, uh... Okay. Listen, I still have to figure out... I tried brainstorming in the kitchen, didn't really work out. Something about listen out, keeping an ear out, wind of vastness will help me. Maybe I can try calling somebody. It's no use, the building's phone lines are not working at the moment. Last night's storm is to blame. This all feels like some bad dream. Tell me about it. Need to open this door somehow. Can't go open the bathroom door. The cabinet is in the way just barely. Need to move it. There could be something in there that's helpful for this situation. If not, well, I still need an access to the bathroom at some point anyway. 
Well, you heard something. I don't know if it's coming from my room or or what. Anyway, I've explored the apartment quite a bit. Can I take this paper? No. Okay, I'm just going to keep it out there. It's fine. I'm sure it'll come around. I've been... Oh, excuse me. Oh, I can't interact with it anymore. It's my radio. Got it from mom. No antenna attached, though. I could listen to some radio, I guess. Uh, have to find the antenna first. <laughs> listen, I was praising him being like, his kitchen is clean, but he's so clumsy. There is... The only reason his kitchen is clean is because he forgot where to... He put all these items. If we open one of these drawers, there's not gonna be anything in them, because he forgot them maybe somewhere else. Anyway... It's fine. At least he doesn't leave his bread out, so he doesn't get, get stale. At least that. I have a little bit of hope for this guy. Alright, Henry. Back to your room. We gotta figure something out. I guess I just go to bed and I wake up trying to figure out what's going on. Blue bound apartments. This big ass sign seems like it could almost hit my head. I think my building didn't exist when they put it here. At least I like to think so. That's a stupid place for such a huge sign. Basically lights up my entire room every night. I liked it when I first moved here, though it gave kind of a nice vibe. Now I just hate it. Well, at least it gives you a little bit of white noise. I have no use for this eraser right now. There's nothing to erase. Found an antenna. My keys includes the key to my front door. An antenna for the radio. Okay. Let's go put the antenna back of the radio. You know, I think I liked it more when the antenna wasn't attached to my radio. You know, I, I think I prefer the big ass sign right outside my bedroom. Thank God. What a horrible noise. That was some weird radio station. All that rackets must have woken up my neighbors. I really apologize, Mr. Neighbors. Nights kind of like these give me a kind of exciting feeling. Like I want to go run around in the woods, but I never do. Well, now I can't. Okay, Henry, it's a, it's a deal. First thing you do when you get out, run around in the woods and... Uh, huh? Some, someone's banging on my door. Guess it's a neighbor. Well, here we go. Y yes, hello? What the hell are you doing in there? What music is that horrid noise supposed to be? People are trying to sleep for God's sakes. Mr. Inha, I'm so sorry. I, uh, it just... But hey, I need your help. What? You need what? Help, I need help. I can't get out. What? Open the door. I can't hear you, boy. I can't. It's blocked. The ceiling. Just keep it down, party boy. I'm tired as hell. I don't have time for this nonsense. No, please, Mr. Help, Miss, Mr. Inha. Help! Can't believe I'm in this situation. I gotta start thinking how the hell I'm going to get out of here. Either way, find a way to get this uh, thing out of the way. Okay, this is a... Uh, this is a little scary. Just a little bit scary. Just imagine, like, help is right at your fingertips. It's right there. Sorry, can't hear you, party boy. I just assume you're mumbling some things, but please keep it down. Climb down from here? I mean, I could climb down from here. There's even a nice fl flower bed to land on if, if the rope is not enough. But this is an awkward spot. Everyone could see me climbing down from here. There's people right there. I'm sure there's a better spot. Oh, it seems like uh, Harry from Silent Hill moved away and the girl standing here was... Uh, her date arrived. 
That's nice. What else, though? I mean, I want to get out. I want people to see me so I can get help. I'm stuck in my apartment. Maybe I should turn on the radio again so I can get my neighbor's attention. Can I? And that was just another night by Boy Jack. Let me tell you, this night is getting wilder and wilder by the minute. As Friday nights always do here at the RFM. As you know, we're broadcasting from the town center right in the heart of the action. Yes, even though we just played a rather slow and melancholic folk piece, the heat of the night is burning us up. I'm Ruchi, and this is, once again, DRFM, keeping the grim from the dim. Stay on frequency and, well, try to stay by the radio and don't go jumping in that river just yet. Actually, don't go jumping in that river, period. The officials don't like that one bit. I know, I know, everyone loves to go crazy and go wacky on these summer weekends night. But people have drowned, sorry to ruin your buzz. You know, I have a bit of story about that river of ours, but before that, here's a few words from our sponsors. Stay tuned. This river drowning is sponsored by VPN Nord. Nord VPN. I'm not actually sponsored by anybody. <laughs> this river drowning is sponsored by... Uh. Oh, I thought I've seen somebody over there, but there's actually somebody far away. Hey, she sees me. Or he sees me, or, or not. Hmm, well, if I want to try climbing down, I guess this would be the best spot. Openable window. I can probably land on some trash, but best of all, it's not that visible, so it's not as awkward. Well, I need to put some sheets together and slide down. Get some help. Simple. Doesn't sound simple to me. I'd actually shit my pants if I'd have to do that. You know what? It's not too high. Like, if it was, uh, like, one more, two more stories up, I'd, I'd like, I wouldn't even shit or anything. I'd just jump. I'd be like, well, I'm screwed. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll take the bed sheets. Is that gonna be enough though? I guess only one way to find out. Do I need more sheets? Nope. Huh? Oh no, there is somebody there and my social anxiety does not allow me to save my life. Oh no. Too short, not enough. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whew, not good with heights. Not sure I can do this after all. Imagine she just sees me. What is And she's like, the hell are you doing? So much for my shrouded escape. There's the girl there, staring at me. Feels weird to ignore her. Might as well ask her for help. Hey! You hear me? You, uh... You want to help me? What? What? I already have a boyfriend, what? I said you want to help me! What are you doing, creep? I told you I have a boyfriend, get the memo! What? What are you doing? Creep? Are you robbing someone's home? Really? What? No, no, this is my sheets! Th 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 then what are you doing with those bed sheets? You want people to know what your bed sheets look like? That's disgusting! Is this some kind of fetish? You fetish climber? What? Uh, what? <laughs> Get away! That's what I'm trying to do! That's it! I'm leaving and I'm reporting you to my boyfriend police. No, 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 no! She's a good shot. Uh, my head. Why are people so hostile? Oh.
that can hit me in the head pretty good. Damn, what the hell? What was up with that? Well, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, my life could have been a whole lot different if I was going down through here and just explain the situation. I would, uh, you know, my son would ask me how I met my mom. I just said, oh, I, I just uh, put some bed sheets up and uh, <laughs> jumped on the, on the goddamn street. And then she hit me in the head with a can. All right, uh, what's going on over there? Seems like... Okay, I think it's somebody smoking weed. Or... They have a... They have a plunger attached to their head. Definitely not a gun. I got a call for help. My computer. It's busted. I've been trying to save... Uh, excuse me. Gotta say it feels really weird when I can't mess around with it. Almost makes you want to go out and something. Almost. I guess my computer is out of it. Alright, I guess uh, that plan is busted. Unless I can find more sheets around the house, there is no way I'm getting out through my window. You know, maybe I can interact with other people on this... Is that another note? I don't know. Maybe I can interact with other people on the streets and get help that way. Because that girl was no good. There's a 50-50 chance that they'll help me. Wind is blowing some paper. Nursing walls are grown tired. Dormant lungs. It still says the same thing. Okay, let's... Uh, I can't interact with the radio right now. Can I just call for help? This is getting awkward by the minute. I... I'm not so sure. I'm not hungry. I got nothing to eat right now, anyways. Which could be become a problem at some point. You think? If I'll die here, that's gonna be so embarrassing. Meadow Apartments. I guess I could talk to my neighbor when they go over there. Again, awkward, but... Desperate times, desperate measures. I have to create some sort of social interaction if I want to get out of here. How the hell did- where did- oh, that cabinet fell from upstairs! Did my neighbors not notice they're missing a cabinet? Did my neighbors not notice they're literally a hole in their ground? Am I really gonna die because my neighbors are dumb? I don't know what to do. I have only my apartment keys. Thank God it was only a plastic bottle. That's just scary. Reeks of strong alcohol. She must have been drunk as hell. Good throw though, especially for a drunken girl. Hmm. This could be some sort of use. If I cut a piece of the plastic with something. Screw the shit escape plan for now. I'm gonna fix this situation. Need to cut a plastic. I'll get the knife that we've seen on the board in the kitchen. It'll aid us in our quest of cutting that plastic up and doing something with it. Now, what exactly I'm gonna do with the plastic, I'm not entirely sure, but Henry seems to have figured it out. I'm sure I'll figure it out as we go along. Or he might be making it as he's going along. Kitchen knife. It's a kitchen knife. It's pretty sharp, so I could cut something easily oh if she could have seen me now she could have called me the king of the freaks did you seriously cut yourself i'm really sorry to hear that ow my eye what who threw that knife 
Damn it, my knife slipped. Cut myself. Seems like it's nothing serious. Guess I'll buy a new knife. Whenever it is that I get out of here, I'm starting to be on edge. This is getting on me more than it should. I'm gonna get out. It's not like I'm in a hurry anyway. At least I go the. Uh, at least I got the piece. Starting to think this was a dumb idea though. <laughs> if I look out the window and I see somebody just splattered on the ground and the blood. The knife killer is still unknown. Still throwing knives at people from the roof. It's a piece of plastic I cut from the bottle. I heard you could use this to open a locked door. Okay, time to see my storage. I know it's possible to open a door like this with a piece of plastic. Let's give this a try. Okay, I think I got it. I don't get humiliated for nothing. I didn't get humiliated for nothing. Don't worry about it, Henry. Nothing is gonna be for nothing. I haven't cleaned this place for a long while. I mainly dump all the useless stuff in this room. I should see if there is anything useful behind these boxes. Huh, what's this? It's a hole. I've never noticed this. There's a light shining through it. From the hallway? You're gonna call for help through the door? They're gonna start saying you're a peep... It's a peephole for you. Oh, oh, that feels so awkward. She's just standing there with her green dress and bag, ready to go to part A, and all of a sudden, just this stranger out of a peephole makes himself known. This is so awkward. That's Mrs. Meadows, my next door neighbor. I get nervous if I walk past her in the hallway. Guess I have a bit of a crush on her. <gasps> Henry! Time to make yourself even more awkward. Don't know anything about her, though. Jesus, she scares me with those gorgeous green eyes. Ah! No, not the green eyes! My only weakness! There's a peculiar graffiti behind the gate. I've seen these before, in the streets. Anything else I can interact with? That's it for now, I guess. It's my mop! This could prove useful. I'll take it. It's my mop, yeah. I haven't used it for a while. It's filthy as hell. I could probably use this to move stuff or just reach something. Maybe I can try reaching the neighbor? Let's check the cabinet here. Oh, I have some tools. Hammer and cri chisel. I have no use for this right now. Okay, I'll close it then. Some cleaning agents and more boxes. Alright, that was actually pretty fruitful. I'm not sure about the hole though. I don't think uh, I really need to look through the hole. Especially looking at my crush through the hole. But it seems like I'm gonna be prying open my bathroom door. With a mop. Christ, that's really heavy. I managed to move it just enough, and then it stopped moving altogether. But now it's blocking the front door even more. I can I can get in to the bathroom now. Damn, that's a large, huge cabinet. There's a leaflet. What's this about? It says, tired of... Oh, excuse me. It's... Uh, I don't know why it always registers a, a double tap. Your odds of finding him or her widen more than you could imagine at. I guess it's a leaflet for dating. Blah, blah, blah. Don't be left writing. Yeah, yeah. Do people actually use these sites? Like a dating website. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna save it just in case. Oh, uh, never mind. Don't have it in my inventory. All right, there is a window here. Hey, there's the remote. Why is it... Henry? I'm starting to think you're a real creep. Who does this? 
this my TV remote? What's it doing here? I don't know, Henry. How about you tell me? What's going on over there? Oh, they're watching TV. Uh, well, I got the remote. Uh, <laughs> she killed the woman in the street. You again? Creep! And <laughs> another plastic bottle flies my way. This guy makes me sick. Oh, what is he doing? Oh, cool. He has this, like, training thing. You know, like, this uh, dumbbell that you, like, kind of ring like this. That's really cool. You know, I should also do a similar challenge. Every time I die in a horror game, I should do, like, 10 push-ups. Is this, is this what the guy does all night? Every night? Yeah. Why do you think his hands are so big? Just, what did I expect? I got the TV remote. I don't think I need anything more than my toilet. What is that? Some trucks to keep me? 100 meter worth of floss. I could think of some use for this. Can be combined with something. Not going to work. Okay, worth the try. Don't tell me it wasn't. I'm losing some frames here. I hope it's not uh, too bad. My recording program shows still 60 frames, so it's just gonna look choppy, but... Nothing much. That looked like a note on my table. I felt like something changed. Or I got a remote. I can now look on what's on TV. Hank, about what happened last summer. It's alright, Eve. Eva, I was out of town. I don't blame you at all. In fact, I encourage you to cheat on me. But I blame my s but I blame myself. I have loved you ever since I first saw you in class. Oh, Eva. I can't help but think I've ruined something beautiful. Eva, please. You make me feel special. Well, you are a special girl. Hank, let's run away. Keep riding b buses until we forget the name of this town. I can't just leave. Not again. We're not leaving. We're leaving. Oh, if... Yeah, screw this. What else is on? Okay. Hope is still uh, discreditable ahead. But markably so. After years of vo void, the pit's out outgrowth stains the path. Sounds bad, actually. I'll try and... Uh, Help, I guess. I guess uh, Eva and TV Boy are running away. I really like this show, you know. Oh, you know what? The first episode always stinks. Oh, my favorite channel, Sky High. I think the name gave it away. Oh, too high, too high. Back on Earth. Put me back on Earth. What is that, a Lofi channel? Meditation channel. Space. It's a TV. Uh-oh. I'm not sure I'm allowed to show this, but I'll show it anyway. <laughs> I remind myself of that freak back at that apartment. 
Oh no, not germs. Not the germs. Okay. City Pulse 24 7. My favorite, uh. Second favorite channel, actually. My first one is actually. <laughs> Space. Alright. Is this the sequel to channel 2? What's this guy doing? Is every TV channel has to have uh, something strange going on? You know, this is what happened. The fall of TV. They just let anybody put anything on TV now. Uh-oh, a door slowly opens. What's gonna happen? Is somebody gonna run towards me with a katana? There is something there. There's like a red dot there on the left. Do I press? What is this? What kind of channel is this? And why would they show this on night? Okay, screw this. There is nothing important in TV to help me out. Why did I think this would help me out anyway? I'm actually bewildered by that. I'm flabbergasted. Oh, the apartment nearby is now turned on. Hey, she's watching Sky High. That's pretty cool. That's my favorite channel too. Uh, isn't this kind of a creep thing to do? I don't know. They're still here? How long have they been sitting there? Uh, and what? I need more items. I need more tools. And I need them now. Hang in there. He's, he's an elephant being knocked over. I just go. Oh, great. The sheets fell down. <laughs> Seems like the knot was too loose. Glad I didn't try and go down. Well, I'm glad I didn't start climbing down with that. Can't seem to tie a knot to save my life. I ought to learn that stuff at some point. If not to save my life, then... I'm being dramatic. I'm gonna make it. I'm just stuck for a while. Sure are, Henry. I'm glad you can see the positive side here. You could have fallen into the void, which would have caused death. So let's not do that, you know, according to that spooky channel. The poster for Maximum Pain. I actually prefer the sequel, but I couldn't find any posters for it. So empty. We sure could use an ad here. If you want to spot, contact us. Ads.com. Well, I have a phone number here if I want to contact a blank, a blank sign for advertisements. What's that weird sound? Seems to come off from the toilet. Okay. The water is gone. Should I flush? Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, cool. Wet magazine. What the? It's uh, some kind of magazine. I don't feel like picking it up with bare hands. Need something to get it up from there. Since some towels or uh I just I'm just gonna get the paper. Paper towel. This could work, but I think I have something better in the bedroom. 
Thanks for the memo, Henry. What am I gonna use, though? No, this plastic bottle, that's for sure. The eraser? Maybe in my closet? Henry? Na napkin box. This is what I use when I, uh... When I use the dumbbell. Clean my keyboard. Anyway, this should be helpful. There we go. Make sure to clean my keyboard often. Don't want a stinky keyboard. <laughs> Alright, I'm sure this wet magazine will help me. Alright, alright. Let's take out this magazine and have a look. This is nasty. Actually, I think I'd rather the paper towels. I'm just gonna... Be, I'm just gonna be frank with you. Erotic magazine. Ah, Stupid toilet. What is this? This is... Uh, what I... What am I doing? Should I open it? Do you have anything else better to do? What is that? What is that? It's like from Yumi Nikki. Oh, never mind. It looked like a creepy statue from Yumi, Yumi Nikki, but um, it's just uh, this. Oh, this is certainly helpful. It's partly torn magazine. There's a number 61 right here. Ada has always been the girl. She says she lost when she was only six. She w says she was sounds extra naughty, not once to judge. The readers, along with many other juicy stories about her, are now revealed. <laughs> it reminds me of Five Nights at Freddy's when you completed night uh, five. And then there is like this uh, newspaper clipping. And then at the background there is like random... Uh, just random articles. That's what it reminds me of. Okay. Let's go check on my neighbor, because apparently I'm not creepy enough. I gotta make this more awkward. If jumping in front of any everybody isn't awkward, then... Uh, you know. Maybe bothering my, ne my uh, neighbors. It's gonna be better. No, nothing I can do. Still. Uh, I'm just gonna run around the house. Eventually something will happen. Zero, six, one. Oh, uh, excuse me. Zero, six, two. That's pretty cool. Nothing's happening. The screen is just blank. It's broken. Oh. What the hell? What is this? Knock. There's some writ written here. It says, knock. Knock on the wall, sure. There you go, that'll get my neighbor's attention. No, don't knock back, just come help me. Hi. Hello, lady. Yes, I have been trying for an hour and a half to contact you by watching TV stations. That's kind of weird, I know, but... But listen. It's Meadows. She's looking at me weirdly. Oh, I should open up my window. There you go. I guess I'm gonna back out to open my window. There we go. Oh no, the note flew away. Damn, window is stuck. Is this enough? What's wrong? Sorry, can't open the window all the way. Stuck or something. Okay. So what are you doing? Why are you knocking? I just, I just... You're just creepy. Oh my god, Harry, just open your mouth! I need help. Yeah. No, I'm stuck. What? Yeah, the window's stuck. You already told me. You gotta speak up a bit. No, I mean, I'm stuck in here, in my apartment. Okay, you mean... How do you mean? The door is blocked. Something crashed through my ceiling. Oh god, you okay? 
Yeah, it's just blocking the door. I can't leave. The thing won't move out of the way. Okay, uh... You don't have a foe. Oh yeah, they're not working right now. What a timing, eh? Tell me about it. So you can't wait until morning. I'm sure things are going to work out real fast then. Well, I don't know. I, I'd rather not assume. I've thought about it too, but I can't get any sleep and something weird is going on here. Sorry to bother you. I'm going to try and... No, no, I, I can help you. I, I'm... I got nothing else to do anyway, other than watching Sky High. Just got to think of something. Um, well, how about... Hum. Well, I think we should introduce ourselves first. I am Ava. Ava Meadows. Yeah, um, I'm Henry. Jeffries. Nice to meet you, Henry. Yeah, you too, Ava. Okay, now. Should I try to push your door or something? I mean, you can go for it, but it, it's not gonna work. To push uh, whatever barriers that's in front of your door. I, I can't unlock the door even. But hey, I could si slide a key under the door and you could open it from your outside. Then try to push it. Okay, sure, let's try it. I'll be waiting by your door. What a nice lady, she's actually trying to help me out. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and knock on the TV. Alright, we good. Slide the keys. Hello? Here's the key. Yeah, okay. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna push now. <laughs> Just gonna crush on me. Go ahead. Damn, she's strong, but not strong enough. Well, did it move out of the way enough? Not even a bit. What? I said not even a bit. No, I heard you. It's just that, man, I pushed really hard. Yeah, it's fine. Got to figure out something else. Okay, um, I wonder if... Should I go around and ask for help in the building? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to bother anyone at this time of night. Henry, you gotta start, stop thinking about other people, start thinking about yourself, Henry. You're gonna get yourself killed. I already pissed off one of the neighbors. Well, you didn't mind bothering me. She got you, Henry. That's different, there was... Uh-huh. Anyway... I think it's understandable to bother people. You need help. Yeah, I know, but I'm sure I can figure out something. If not soon, then by the morning, when people start waking up. Okay. You still want my help? Well, I don't know what you could do for me. Oh, I have an idea. Oh. Come back to the window. Okay. <laughs> Just close your eyes and count to ten. <laughs> There she is. Uh, yeah. You climb down to the street with bed she. Ava, that's a good idea. You know, like a prison movie or something. Oh, I already tried that. Didn't really work out. The guards caught me out. What happened? <laughs> Let's just say there was uh, quite a high velocity with a plastic bottle. Uh, lost my sheets and got hit in the face with a bottle. And that's it. So you're not trying it again? No, I'd rather not. And also, I'm out of bed sheets, apparently. Oh. How desperate are you about escaping that room? What do you mean? I mean, if you really... Ah, whatever. Maybe you're right about just waiting until morning. Yeah. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Henry. Henry. Henry, Henry your TV broke. And you're afraid of in talking to other people. What's that? I heard something from my room. What's going on? The curtains are soon shut. See?
Now nobody's gonna know about you in the morning. The person on the other side is now not on the other side. The person smoking is no longer smoking. By the time I finish this game, he's gonna quit. Uh-oh. Eva, listen, I know you're very enthusiastic about helping me, but don't break my window. Oh, wait, no, that's just my picture frame. Damn, my picture frame. Guess the gust of wind came through and opened the window. Through the window, I mean. What the? Another one? Where did this come from? Well, I guess I should make some use of this mess. This piece is pretty sharp. Here we go. What does the note say? The night is long and powerful. Reliance on a stranger is vital and the forgotten sign of trust. Brings the two back together. I feel like I'm gonna be sued to her at the end of this game. As the light emptiness is already lesser. Do I hear a dog outside? There is nobody behind the kitchen. It's literally empty space there. How can it be coming from my room? If so, it's probably a bad idea to check it out, isn't it? I can probably s cut this. Oh, okay, it's just a couple. Uh, young and stupid. Mostly stupid. Anyway. By the way, the door on the other side is now... Uh, window on the other side is now lit up. I guess uh, the owners are home. That's just my guess. Nobody else in the hall. Is that enough? Another party outside my window? It was probably a low hanging cloud. A black low hanging cloud. They usually roam around this level and go like this. Just as I'm going with my mouse. Nothing too out of the ordinary, really. I'll just keep telling myself that. Well... This is awkward. Time to spy on Eva some more. Eva is at her desk. I forgot to ask my keys back. This is going to be awkward, but I'm going to need to get her attention again. Alright, let's uh, knock TV again. I guess she doesn't hear me knocking now. How could I get her attention? Slingshot. Hmm. How to get her attention? <gasps> oh, I have the perfect idea. I'm about to create I'm about to, I'm about to connect two worlds together. <laughs> There we go. Now I can use the eraser. Who would have thought? That the eraser is now usable. Let me combine it also with uh, my floss. Maybe that'll work. 
I combine an eraser with some dental floss. I can now throw it at the window to get attention. It shouldn't damage the window. Shouldn't be in a keyword. In theory, shouldn't damage the window. I just imagine she turns around at the last second and she sees me with an eraser like... You scared the crap out of me! I almost shot you, you know! What are you doing? Uh, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to, uh... Yes? Spill the beans, cool head! You still got my keys. Oh, that's actually a pretty valid reason. Oh! Yeah, it's a, it's a good reason. Sorry about that. I'll slide them under your door. Just a sec. Hold on. Huh? So I also got another idea. Yeah? If I want to ha If you want to help any me anymore, that is. Oh, sure. I was bored anyway. What are you planning? You know that phone booth between our building and the bar? Of course. I can see it from here. You want to try that phone? Oh, now you're ready to bother people, huh? Mr. Bothering Man? Yeah, things are starting to... Get to me. I'll go. I'll be down in a minute or so. Be careful. Something weird is going on tonight. What? The Lincoln Street Junkies? No, it's... Uh, I don't know. He's so quiet now, huh? Much nicer to talk. Uh, nice, ni much nicer to talk without needing to yell, you know. Yeah, throat was getting kind of sore. Still kind of weird talking like this. I talk to my neighbors like this all the time. I'm your only neighbor, Iva. Really? <laughs> no, silly. You don't get out much, do ya? Well, there's not much out there for me. You're the quiet type. I don't go for a walk every night. I do go for a walk every now and then, at night, in the woods. You're just a weirdo, aren't you? A lot of times, yes. Well, that's fine. I'm a bit of a weirdo myself. I know we have some common grounds. I just didn't want to call it out. Because that'd be a weird. How come? I like to explore abandoned places and take pictures. You like going to those kind of places? Oh yeah, and the woods too, like you. Except I tend to go deeper. How do you know how deep I go? Ever been to the log cabins? Those ancient things? Never. Yeah, they weren't anything special. I once asked my grandma about them and she said they've been there even before her time and that they were used by some to stay away from Dreamseer or Dim I, or something, can't remember. Well, guess I'm going now. I'll be in a minute or so. Yeah, okay, thanks. Haha, <laughs> weirdo. I bet that's what you're thinking. What the hell is she watching? Dinosaur banging heads. What a weirdo. Of course, out of all the people I got, I'm gonna get help. I'm gonna get help with the pe person I'm most comfortable to bother. Of course, just... Just my luck. <laughs> I make it sound like it's a bad thing, it's a, it's a really good thing, but, you know. I just can't s to stop it. Well, you're gonna spill the beans or something? How long does it take a weirdo to reach here? I'm gonna peep on her while she comes to my house. Okay, she's not coming. I guess she already slid them under. Ava? Ava? She back at her apartment or something? Why would she turn off the light in her apartment though? Weirdos, I tell ya. 
What next? She explore cabins? <whistles> what was that? Ava? I think it came from the alley. I'll swiftly make haste to my bedroom. She seems startled, but I don't think... I don't see a threat. So, you didn't give me my keys? You went all the way down here before giving me my keys? I mean, that's cool. I really don't mind it. Ava, what's wrong? Oh my god, Henry! Oh my god! What? Spill the beans, cool head. There's been a murder or something, and, and I found the murder weapon! Ava, about that phone booth, how about... I have a better idea. What is it? It's literally a bloody knife! Oh, uh, actually no, it's my blood! What? <laughs> oh, a kitchen's knife? Yeah, how did you know? Weirdo? Oh, we, th don't worry about it, it's nothing. What? You? Uh, what? Have you? Di did you? N no, whatever you're thinking, it's much dumber. What? I didn't kill anyone. I I cut myself. Oh, Henry, I didn't know you do that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to talk... No, 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 it's not intentionally. It wa was an accident, alright? Just go to the phone. Uh, okay, I'll do that. I'm, I'm walking to the phone now. Phone doesn't work. Someone smashed it or something. Any ideas? Hold on, let me look around. If there's some other place. Okay, but please be fast. There's something weird going on. There's no one here. And there's no one here. I'll be quick, just wait. No, no, actually, Ava, just go back. Listen, this is serious. When I say I'm gonna look around, I mean I'm gonna find nothing. So just go back to your apartment and lock the door. Ava, please, you're the only weirdo in this town. Come on, Ava. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can type in the comments, Ava Chance. What's the chance you think she's gonna just uh, dissipate? Alright, let's try this, uh, window first. The one with the low hanging cloud. Damn it, dude! How many hours have you been watching that stuff? And working out your hands? Lovey. Yeah, they probably have a phone now that I think about it. But no, there's gotta be some place. There's no way I'm sending Ava to Lovi. It's like sending Ava to... D d d dummies. It's just not gonna work. Still have my eraser though, in case of an emergency. By the way, did you, did you ever give back my keys? The answer is hell no. Anyway, there's only two more things to look at. And it's not this apartment. Actually, there is a uh, three more. Now two, because I look through the hole. Let's check the window here on the left. I think the club is closed now. Not sure if I would have wanted Ava there anyway. Not like she's my girlfriend or anything, but... Shut up. You're dumb. I'm not suspicious. Rick's Grill. I've actually been there. Pretty tasty. 
They definitely have a phone and they should still be open. So that's the one. All right. I feel like a, co a commander. Keep sending Ava to do missions. She's still up there, uh, down there, right? Hey! There's a place! Go to the grill. Oh, okay, I'll be back soon. Alright, I should go look for from the kitchen window. Good idea. Um... Oh, there she is. What's this sound? It's constantly on my right ear. What's that? I wonder what's taking her so long. I don't like this. I hope she's alright. This is getting out of hand. Why did I let her go outside? It's not safe out there. Should have just slept through this. Okay, so now I have an objective. Before he said he wasn't in a hurry to get out, but now I want to get out to save Ava. Apparently, that's my instincts now. Alright, Henry, let's go see if we can get Ava. My keys. <laughs> no! What should I do? Maybe I should scream to him? No, 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 I'm not that desperate. But I mean, if it means other safety... Feels like forever that I've been waiting for her. What's the time anyway? I don't know, let me check the TV. Oh, it's broken a clock. Who would've... What's going on out there? I don't like this at all. We have a call coming and it's... Uh, Mike. How do you do, Mike? Hey, Richie. I'm doing good. So what's up? You got a song request or a question? No, no. None of that. I just got a... I want to share an experience I just had on a night walk just recently. Oh, alright. Where were you walking? The center? The woods? Oh, uh, the center. Yeah, things have gone pretty quiet around here. You don't get spooked at this hour of night in the streets. Now, well, sometimes I'm a bit of a night owl. I love the calmness. This time, though, I saw something kind of weird. I'm definitely a bit of a, a bit of a night owl myself, but uh, yeah. What did you see, Mike? Something about this night. It's one of those nights. The air is kind of wet and heavy. You know the river is fogging up the area, so... I'm not even sure I saw it the way I... Yep, I know what you mean. This night kinda has a dreamlike quality to it. Anyway, Mike, tell us already. What did you see? Some kind of monster, huh? Well, it's weird. I walk by this alley and I thought I saw some person, but... Dressed weird and staring at me right beneath the only light post that isn't working. Okay, creepy. Dress is weird. Describe him to me. N not a he, it's a she. I'm pretty sure. I, I don't know. She was just wearing whatever she was wearing. Wrong. Okay. Fashion police? So I thought she was drunk or something. Yeah, there has been some partying going on just a couple of hours ago. I yelled out, You need help? 
right? Right. And she just started walking weird, man. Like something about it. Maybe it was drugs instead. But then she started running towards me and I just freaked the fuck out, man. And I ran away from her. Damn. As I'm running away from her, I took one glance behind me. We were in a better lighting and I could have sworn it was... You know what? I don't know why I called. This is stupid. I, I gotta go to sleep. Got to wake up early anyway. No, 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 Mike. What did you... Ah, oh, damn. Well, that gave me the spooks. So it's about time for, for me to wrap. So I didn't want to hear that just as I'm about to go home. Definitely not walking home tonight. <laughs> well, there was no song request, so let's just play the beautiful piece by Lady Valen. Enjoy and stay on frequency. This is the RFM. I was waiting for the song from Lady Valen. Yeah, something definitely is going on over there at the grill. What the hell? She is already home or something? What's going on over there? I gotta increase my volume a tiny bit. I hear music from the radio, but... It's like the door open or something? What's this? There is a clock ha hand inside a hole. Is that blood? It's on the hour hand of my clock. It was shoved inside this hole in the wall. Why? I don't know what I saw in the hall, but I'm sure it's some sort... I don't know. I don't see anything weird outside the window. Okay, I'm not sure if I have a clock inside my house. Because I haven't seen one. Oh, the, it's right up there. My clock is missing the hour hand. Okay. Should I look up something about time? Or should I try all the combinations? Let's go see if we can find something about time. Nothing outside my window. The night is as long and powerful. Reliance on the stranger is vital. Is there a clock on the on the house? There we go. 
2 a.m. according to Ava's clock. Well, I know Ava might be in danger, but I gotta set my clock straight here. Uh, wait, 2 a.m.? So like this? Oh, you're back. Forgot to turn on your lights or something? By the way, you should probably turn off that TV. Ava? Ava. Ava is... Is... Is everything alright? It's Henry. Henry. Oh, is something wrong? Something wrong. It's dark in there. I thought your apartment was empty. Empty. When did you come back up here? Up here. You don't seem the same as before. Same as before. Why are you repeating? Repeating. This is useless. Useless. What the hell? There's blood coming out of the cabinet. Some red liquid is dripping from the cabinet. It couldn't be. Oh no. What about the lady we've seen in the hall early? That could have been Ava. Ava? Hey! Did you just come back? Yeah, just now. Why? Uh, I thought you already came. What? Please, don't try to scare me now. So what do you took you so long? Sorry, I fell asleep at the grill. Of course you did, Ava. Everything feels like at home for you. I didn't see a phone when I stepped in. Yeah, you just have to ask for it, Ava. I was waiting for someone to show up at the counter, but I don't know how long I was there, but when I woke up, there was still no one. So I just left. Sorry, Henry. I, I could go to some other place. No, no, it's fine. Let's just forget about the phone. The streets are totally... The streets are totally empty. It's like a ghost town. Well, it's Dim River. True! Speaking of vacant places... Didn't you say this thin? Whatever it is that's blocking your door? It crashed through the ceiling? Yeah, some big old rusty cabinet or something. What about it? The fourth floor... The fourth floor is vacant. The entire fourth floor? I've been wondering why I don't hear a peep from up there. So what was that cabinet all about? Thought it was just some loner. Well, I did hear something tonight. Probably the landlady or something. Anyway, you must have seen how they've even blocked the stairs with the gate. Yeah, I figured it was just for construction work. No, they're just left at place B. 
Wonder why it's still empty? I think the Lincoln junkies did something up there. Really? They've been in this building? Ha! <laughs> They're everywhere, man! Looking for some good spots to take drugs, I assume. And probably ruin the place in the process with their weird... Whatever, rituals? I don't know about this place... I don't know, but this place exci excites me. Ah. <sighs> oh yeah, didn't you say you were a photographer or something? I'm a florist. Taking pictures is just my hobby. I'm a total amateur. Could you take a picture of my apartment? Of the apartment? The apartment above you? From there? From here? Yeah, I'm curious what it looks like. Okay, you won't see much. I know. Alright, let me get my camera. Alright, let's see. This is kind of weird. Like you. Sure is. Got it? Hmm, also blue curtains. What? Smile! Uh, Eva, no, I'm... <laughs> come on, don't... Uh, don't do anything rash. <laughs> uh, I feel like I've been shot. Ha, <laughs> cute. Okay, I'll go slide the photo under your door. Yeah, how about you also slide my keys while, while you're at it? Here I go. Did she just take a picture of me? Yeah, Henry, you're a handsome man. Stuck in a small apartment, almost like a birdcage. What's taking her so long? I should check the hallway. Already ahead of you, Henry. Let me go! What's this? Huh? You creeping around, spying on your neighbors? No! I... We... Young girl like you. You like that? Come to my room, miss. Old man needs some company. Get away from me, you dirty... Come on, girly. Just for a while. I'm lonely. Won't take too much of your time. Disgusting! Get off me! Somebody help! Quiet girl, everyone's sleeping. I should just uh, yell from the uh, from the peephole. Hey, I see you, and he'll run away. I got to help Ava. Think, think. Need to distract Einha somehow. I have just the idea. I guess uh, I guess I'll never use this thing. Need to. I need something that makes a loud sound. And it needs to come from in his place. He lives right next to me. Uh, something loud. He lives right next to me. I, uh... What the hell is going on? I don't ha have time for this right now. Hmm, I could combine this with the floss I have. So the alarm swinging through Anna's window. Wait, what? Where's my clock? Come on. Do I need to take the floss with me? Oh, I, I already combined it.
Where's his window? Alright, here we go. I'm gonna have to swing this blind. I've always wanted to throw my alarm clock out the window like this. Even better if it goes through some asshole's window. That should do it. I should now go check if that uh, did the trick. I can pour you a drink at my place, Missy. Don't you get it? I'm not interested! Wait, what's that sound? Seems to come from your apartment, old man. Those damn junkies. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, well, I'm glad Ava is safe. She's not back at her apartment? Or she's now waiting at my door. She might be waiting at my door now. Ava has laid the picture. Let's see. What? Did she give me the wrong photo? But where has she taken this? That's not my apartment. And it can't be the above one either because the point of view doesn't match. Whatever, this wasn't really worth the hassle anyhow. Was that you who made the sound? Yeah, sorry it took so long. You alright? Mm, yeah. It's just... wow. How did you do it? It was pretty easy. There might have been a better way to do it, but... Well, it worked great. Thanks for saving me, I guess. Anyway, about the picture. I'm sorry, could I just take a minute? Before we do anything else? That whole thing was uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, sure. You think we should just sleep through this? It's pretty late. You could use a bit of rest, but... This doesn't seem to go anywhere anyway. Let's get back to it later. Yeah. Alright. Good night, Ava. And hopefully I don't see corrupted looking Ava just like from before. Damn. Y'all saw that? I'm feeling watched. For real this time. Well, I guess it's about time I try to get some sleep. I am pretty tired. I hope she's alright. Probably hates me for making her do all this stuff for me. I always screw everything up. Nothing ever changes. Go to bed? Good ending, bad ending? Yeah. Bad ending, by the way, when you go to sleep. Good ending when you stay awake and decide not to give up. What is it now? Oh wait, the phones are back! <laughs> phones! What the hell? Is that a phone ringing? That's... Have they fixed the lines? They must have. Uh, where's my phone? Oh yeah, he's uh, he's in the hall. The ring and stop. 
and the lines are still dead. What the hell? What about Ava? How am I gonna destroy her evening now? Do I have another pencil on standby? I need more dental floss and erasers. And now if you got that special girl or boy by your side, grab his or her hand and squeeze it so hard until they tear up and bleed. And then lick the blood because it tastes like strawberry. Because you never know when you might not see them again. The person, I mean, not the hands, specifically. <laughs> Spread the love, man. Yeah, that's, that's my thing, man. Love everyone around you as much as possible before some jerk comes around and ruins it all once again. If you got no girl or man, well, think of the last time you did and just think. World is a beautiful place indeed. All right, get ready for lovely Shirley. Monroe with the song If I Could Go Back. This is DRFM, the only station and the radio. I need this to nub me more. Maybe I need something stronger. I don't want to think. Should I really drink? Just one look before I... Uh... Oh, there's the couple again. Apparently, um, uh, I'm doing something that I shouldn't, which is peeping. It's okay to peep through a peephole, but not through uh, neighbors. It's different. Yeah, I really think my character wants to drink. I th he said I, I wanted something stronger, so I thought I should get the hammer. Let me just look one more time. Well, at least she's not running towards me. No, that's cool. That's, uh, you can have this window. I don't need it anyway. You're very tall. What is this? Does sh it want me to open the window? Should I open the window? I'm curious though. Oh, bad ending, here I come. I should stay away from this then, arms. Should I leave? No, I wanna die for sure. This is so cool. I don't know why I'm not just leaving the room. Oh, it's two hands now. I think I could push something down those arms. Like what? Could I just leave? No. Yes. She's still there? The creature is gone, but still there is 
Something lingering. Huh? What's this? Some kind of virus? My computer shouldn't even work. I wonder what I could have pushed down her arms. I didn't have anything in my inventory and I didn't come with anything in my inventory beforehand. Was I able to push like the hammer and thing? Nope. There was nothing I could have picked beforehand. And I didn't see anything in the room. Well, she's now inside my house. Was there anything for me to touch in my room? Nope. Absolutely not. There is nothing in this room I could have used. Yeah. I needed I needed to come prepared. Maybe if I push something down her arm, I get another ending or something. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything was in this room, so... The light is flickering, there is a note in there, there's something inside the lamp. I should open it, can't reach the lamp. Do I need a chair? Don't fall down and break your neck now. Another one of these. The night is darkest before dawn, and is near, for one beginning of the end, and for the other end of the beginning. One of whom is a remainder of hope, the other the lack thereof. Both are one and the same. They cannot coexist after the night. Do you believe this shit? So either they're saying I'm dead or Eva is dead. How about neither of us? Have you considered that? Have you? Maybe you could have shoved this down? Nah. Now I really need something to drink. Huh? Was that... Ava knocking? Yeah, she wants me to talk. I'm still... What's wrong with me? I usually love to snack on something late at night. Okay. Hello, hello again! Hey, what's up? Not able to sleep? Uh, how come? You're making a lot of noises. Ina's going to come knocking. That would be the second time tonight. So what are you doing there? I, I don't know, I'm seeing weird things. Don't know if it's from the fact that I woke up so suddenly from sleep. And now I'm still kind of dreaming or something. What's wrong with me? Okay, we need to get you out of there. I've decided. You're starting to get cabin fever. Ha! <laughs> also, did I hear a phone? You heard it too? Yeah, I thought I did. The lines are fixed now. Could be easier to... No, they're still dead. Well, then how did... So it's not just me. You spoke of those guys, the Lincoln, on... Lincoln junkies. You said that they did something upstairs. I mean, uh, upstairs. I mean, I'm not sure. I've seen some their tags and stuff. You've been up there? Yeah, I've been in the hallway. How, isn't the gate locked? That was back when there was no gate. Oh. Guess I could climb over it now. Really? It's pretty narrow. Are you saying I'm fat? No, I'm, I'm just saying it's pretty narrow. I'm messing with you. Anyway. You thought I could resist the temptation to explore an abandoned floor right above me? So what's it like up there? About what you expect. 
same as the, this floor, but dustier and grimmier and well, there were lots of those tags, like I mentioned. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to jump over the gate. Wish me luck. Whoa, wait, you're going up there? Well, you clearly want me to. Uh, just skipped again. And, and do what? Check the apartment. What, above me? You think it's not locked? I mean, I don't know. I want to see if it is. I don't know about this. Imagine how pissed you'd be. We would be if that door was open all along. And we could have just kicked the damn thing blocking the door down. You don't want to find out? <laughs> I guess just let me find something that could break that lock instead. Oh, really? Isn't that worse? Yeah, but if you need to get out of there in a hurry, it's faster this way. I can keep guard and look at the gate while you're up there. What how? I can see through a hole in the hallway. That's creepy. Well, it's not like I've seen someone's room. Still, I was wondering how how you knew I was in trouble. Are you sure you're all good? Uh, you sure you're all good? I'm fine. I'm feeling much better now. Okay. I'm gonna find something now. All right. I know just a tool. It's our, it started with dental floss and ends with a... Ah, yes, there are from my workshop days. However, a short time that was. You used to do carving, little statues. I was never good at it, but I enjoyed it. People were friendly there. Kind of missed those days. Anyway, these could prove useful in my predicament. All right. I mean, I could just create a bigger hole in the wall. I could do that. All right, I'm gonna throw it to you. I got chisel and a hammer. I could do with just a hammer. You could keep the chisel. All right. I have to throw the hammer to you since uh, I can't slide it under the door. Okay, hold on. Think fast! Real funny, Henry. You're literally- you're a real funny man, don't you? Weirdo. The hammer could have fallen in somebody's head. I'm such a child. Is it coming again from my bedroom? I, I rather not. Uh, I was really wondering if I could shove something down. I could shove this down her hand. But I was so afraid of dying because if I die, I got to do everything all over again. And I've been playing for over two hours and 30 minutes. I should watch, uh, keep watch through the peephole in the hallway. And then when somebody comes, they just like take the broom and start knocking it. Absolute whippersnapper. Did you just throw my hammer to the trash? Uh, what are we doing? Be careful, Lava. I'll go back to bed. This stupid virus. This is stupid, stupid virus. Henry? Uh, uh, wait, did she get in? Ava? Ava? Hey, Henry. The door was open. Nope. Then how did you get in? I didn't hear you using the hammer. 
When I found the door, it was locked, of course. So I used your key. I realize I still got him. Give it a try for the hell of it, and it actually works. How the hell is that possible? They probably reused the same locks. This floor has been vacant for a long time. Makes me wonder if there is a lock here that fits my key. Anyway, so we're here. Well, I'm here. It's dusty and all, but this is a surprisingly good shape. And there's furniture. I have to take a few photos. You're not in a hurry, right? Yeah, make some more evidence of this crime. You took a camera with you? <laughs> of course. Okay, enough. Let's pull this thing down. It's barely hanging from here. When I opened the door, it moved quite a lot. Let me get into place first. It's gonna be one of these anime things where she like jumps on the locker and then she falls down here. And then, you know, it's down moving. Okay, ready? Ready? <laughs> if it falls... Jump on it, Ava! Jump! Jump, goddammit, jump! Okay, I'm not insinuating you're fat, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> Whoa, we got it! Woohoo! Yahoo! We did it! Look at us! Who would have thought? Not me? What in God's name is this racket? Oh crap. Gotta go, old man. I'll handle him. You sure? Yeah, wait here. Okay, again. Don't worry. We're so close. She has a knife this time. Somebody's getting stabbed. Still can't really move this out of the way, though. What's inside anyway? I can't... I can open it now. Hmm, doesn't open. Probably all rusted shut. I could pry this thing with something. Say no more. Oh. Say more. That was a close one. I'm glad my spider senses were tingling. Ride this. There we go. Ah, oh, great. The door lock is broken. The fall must have broken it. All right, time for plan B. Hmm, what's plan B? I feel like it involves a rope. Wait. I think I could ha hoop the rope to that door handle above. And then climb up? That's the way I get out of here. I'm so smart. Appears to be a noose. Okay. Here we go. I'm so smart. This looks exactly like my apartment. Something is blocking the door from the other side. It's locked from the other side. I can smell something horrible coming from there. Simon? Simon? Oh! Oh. Yes, hello. Who are you? I'm a picker. What are you picking at? No, no, it's uh, a <laughs> title amongst our bunch. It's mostly figurative. My turn. Who are you? How did you get here? I live in the apartment below. This one, I climbed through the hole. You, 
You're a climber then. Hmm. You must be the... Must be what? Uh, still not quite sure what to call it. Climber. If it only could climb my tongue. Victim? Source? Of what? Lovi. This force. Or rather the result of the force. Lovi, like the back alley strip club or whatever? Ha. <laughs> no. He got the name from us, though. I believe in that context it's a pretty dirty name. From you, what group are you anyway? He's affiliated with us, yes, the owner. We consist of people with a very diverse backgrounds. You're one of those Lincoln, Lincoln Street Junkies. That's a very condemning name. Although I admit it fits a lot of us. Especially the Seekers. Seekers? Yes, yes. There are Seekers and Peekers. Seekers seek. Well, they do most of the legwork. Peekers like I, we investigate this strange force. Alright, what's this force you keep talking about? You must have noticed something. The air, it's been thick tonight. It's like a canvas, no more like a filter. And the residue is visible, but I haven't got a clue what the filtrate is. And you call this residue lovey? Bingo. It's like a vast lingering dark cloud. Pitch black alleyway in a bright sunny town. I'm starting to get why you're referred to as junkies. Anyway, what exactly are you doing here? This place, we visit this place every now and then. It has definitely changed. It's been a while though. It's no surprise, it's up here. Mind wanders and then wanders. Especially during the night and a sense perhaps. Lovey is here. It's been a strange night. Yeah, you can't trust anything now. What? Are you real? Huh. It's difficult to prove, I imagine, but I assure you I'm real. So there is a chance that there was no... Can't say that's real and what isn't for you. It's a notch. We're in the dark. You alright? Yeah, it's the same. Nothing has changed. What's your name? I shouldn't say. I wear this mask for a reason. People don't really like us. I'm sure for a good reason. I'm off. Have fun peeking. Sure. I'm glad this speaker didn't take a peek at my skull with a hammer. Ah, well, that's the last thing I expected to find here. So they're like some sort of a cult. In fact, they might be the ones relating all these notes to me. This resembles my apartment, but the walls are wrinkled and faded. And the air is unnervingly still and stuffy, although all the windows are broken. Ah. I feel like there's some cold metal ball rolling around inside my head. I feel like it's not good, can't breathe. What is this place? Is this the way it's going to? This is my life? Where have I seen this symbol before? I've seen this symbol somewhere. I think in the main page of the game. She back at her apartment now. Well, it's getting sun it's getting sunny outside. Something missing. So I got a good ending? Oh no, I got ending one. Valve... Illa. I'm probably gonna die in just a second. Well, time to hunt the other endings. Okay, I'm gonna start recording again from here. Oh. Because this is... This is the point where the endings are decided. So... Uh... 
flashlight head. Ah, oh, screw this. You want to go in, ma'am? It's as if a giraffe would come to my own apartment and ask me to open the window. I will do it. But I'll get away from it. I should stay away from this, this thing's arms. Yeah, you definitely should. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna try and not die. Okay. That's phase one. Oh. Oh. I think I should push... There you go. Managed to fight it off. I think that should give me a different ending because I've harmed the creature. <laughs> All of a sudden it comes back and stabs me. Serves me right. Anyway, from here on out, I think business as usual. Until the very end. Something is blocking the door from the other side. It's locked from the other side. You can smell something horrible coming from there. There's that sign again. This time we can see it's daytime, but I'm not getting uh, any writings on the screen. This is Ava's camera. Guess she left it here. You can use camera by holding control. Take photos by pressing left. There we go, just like that. So last time Ava took a picture of this room. It's kind of blurry outside. Oh, this symbol. No. Okay. The guy isn't here this time. There we go. Well, I don't see anything through the window. Uh, fine. Let's do something about you. Say cheese. Where did it go? It's still around here somewhere. If I see it, I'll take another picture. Is it invisible? Oh no, don't do it to me. Oh, it sounds like it's walking to me or something. Oh, I don't want to die. What is going on? I don't have much time. I don't know! Okay, so it says the creature is now down there. Hello. There you go. Now I don't have to replay this entire game again in case I died there. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm glad that sorted it out. If I died there, when he said I don't have much time... If I died... A blank frame. I want to take a picture of you now. Because you did that to me. Taking a living to my camera. Liking. Uh, it, it was great. Oh, this place is... You haven't even seen my apartment, but... Well, easy. We're advancing a bit quickly, don't you think? How about we go out and get something to eat? Fresh air alone is enough for me. You done here? Ready to go? Yes. Let's go. You did it. Did what? You made it out. Well, I couldn't have done it by myself. No, it was really all you. Trust me. You're happy, right? Yeah. Then great. Let's go. Oh! And here are the keys, good sir. Hell, about time. Yes! Ava and Henry sitting in the grill. K-I-S-S... <laughs> K-I-S-S uh, stands for keep it simple, stupid. Keep it so... Keep it stupid simple. <laughs> oh man, this game is so good. I like it a lot. It's so mysterious, it's so dumb, it's so weird, it's so unique. And I'm so glad I played it. And there's the ending's name. Ending 2. Unair Fornia. It means the fear of pictures. It means cabin fever. Anyway, the game was created by RL. Uh, good job. I enjoyed it. Everybody else did. And uh, I'll keep an eye out. Uh, the atmosphere, the, the puzzles and everything. Uh, also, the TV puzzle. Apparently, uh, you know, when I thought I need to look at the other people's TV, that was not it. I was actually supposed to just look at the picture frame with the $2, look at the ma magazine with the 6 on it, and then look at the, ad, the empty ad space. There was a zero at the end there that was not covered. So I was supposed to infer from that that the code is uh, 062. Uh, I, I just needed to think a bit out of the box. Uh, yeah, that was, that was great. This game is so strange. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I hope to see Ava in other horror games. Let's just say that. It was great. Thank you for playing. This has been my first game. Listen, for a first game, this is amazing. This is, uh, truly something special here. Oh, I'm glad I played it. I'm glad. I am glad.